balik na ako ng accommodation ko, tapos na yung concert. Anong feelings ko? Ang dami. Mm -mm. I mean, at the first song pa lang ng Touch and Sketch, medyo nag-emotional na ako. Not because madrama ako, parang I was just overwhelmed. I was too happy. Happy lang ako kasi parang, I'm, I'm, I'm really celebrating my birthday on Leo's concert. Oh, grabe yung concert. It was really, really amazing kasi hindi sa lahat ng times sa papakita ni Leo yung ganong side niya. Kasi yung concert, hindi lang siya yung Leo ng VIX. Andun yung Leo ng musical. Andun yung Leo na Leo lang. At ang pinaka-fun dun, andun yung Leo na Jung Take One lang. At ang dal-dal niya talaga. I mean, yung itsura niya na maangas noon, na ginudge ko pa. Like, his songs were super, super beautiful. I mean, lahat nung I wish I, I saw before in live, na napanood ko ngayon. Hindi na talaga hinayan ng feels ko nung kinanta niya yung dream. Ano eh, uh, it's, it's a very touching song na you're very honest about how you're going through with life. So parang, alam mo yun, like, nakaganun lang ako, tapos parang tumulong na lang siya bigla. Tapos hindi ko pinanasan kasi nakakaya, sa mga nalawa mo lang katabi ko ng Mia. Kasi I really want to watch again tomorrow, kaso sold out nga. I mean, if even if I try to line up and get a cancelled ticket, I highly doubt na meron. Kasi kanina alam ko wala din, wala din pumila. Parang claiming na lang yung meron kanina. Sobrang ganda ng musical part niya. Kinant niya yung mahantan ng Prince Rudolph. Tapos ano nga ba yung... Oh, shit. <laughs> Saan nga ba siya nag-armand? Oh my god! Nalimutan ko na. Basta kinant niya yung mga, mga musical pieces niya. It was so beautiful. Grabe talaga yung... Give me something. Nakanta niya. Sobrang feast nung kanta. But... During the end, nung pinaulit-ulit na yung Give Me Something, na pinagbigyan ni Kuya ang mga fans, pinakita ang abs, ang taas, hanggang dito na, pinakita yun na dito. Tapos, ayun, I mean, I I don't get affected by abs. Si Leo kasi to, kaya wala akong care, kahit ano pa ipakita niya. Kahit wala pa siya ipakita, okay lang, kasi I like him talaga. Nakakaalip ko siya talaga siya. Ravi was there, he he sang Nirvana, and he sang uh, the part for the rap in A Cold Night. And A Cold Night was one of my favorites. Kung, kung si Diane, favorite niya yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yan, kinanta ko talaga. Favorite ko naman yung A Cold Night. He went to the fans actually on this encore part. Ang lapit niya. As in, just a, a meter. No, not really a meter. Siguro parang a yard away from me. And he, mm, I wanna see Leo again. Sana may tiket na lang ulit bukas. Para hindi ako, hindi ako nagwawala. Nagalak sa feels ko. And, Grabe talaga ng like the entire concert. Ang gigigil talaga ako. Kasi parang ayoko din sumigaw masyado. Hawak-hawak ko yung light stick ko. Mas may light stick. Like, eto. Hawak-hawak ko yung light stick ko. Yan. So, so parang <laughs> ginaganyan ko na siya. Kasi parang I have to contain my gigil. Kasi parang, <laughs> Leo, that was too much. And I waited outside after the concert for Leo to pass by in the car. Ayun, nakita ko naman siya. He was really, really beautiful. He was stunning. He was amazing. He was beyond real. But he was... Oh, that was one thing that I realized in the concert. In his concert. Tao pala si Leo. Hindi lang siya katang isip ko na isang Diyos. Tao pala talaga siya. It was really cute though. Na parang, kayong ganyan ka gwapo tao pa rin siya. Pero na-realize ko yung ganong kagwapo na tao pa rin. Grabe. Hindi, hindi ko makakapot kahit kapag isang ganyan. I mean, I, I love him as I always say, I love all my boys. It's like genuine love, but I'm not sure how, how deep and far it goes. But I love them. I love when I was a younger fangirl. I would feel weird when I get news about them dating. parang it's it's a normal thing because you kind of understand that these people are people. And they have feelings and they're entitled to whoever they want in their life. Parang if, if you really love someone... You want them happy, like, you know. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have them happy with someone else than go depressed and do something else. I'd be I'd be devastated to lose a person I love. I guess it's it's never really uh, discussed in a lot of people's lives how a fangirl is. And they all think it's just being a K-pop fangirl. But it, it kind of goes a lot. So, uh, I don't know if I can share some of it in the future, but it's... It's a learning process that I encountered in my life.
I, I never was a good fangirl like before I had my bad times and there's more to that just being a fangirl but oh, you, I'm just too happy right now I mean this is like one of the best risk na ginawa ko say, good job Ray gumastos ka na naman magtrabaho ko na naman ng matinde para mabawi mo yung gastos mo yes I mean I have a lot of feelings now kasi it's ang siya siya ko lang talaga ay nakita nyo ba yung stuff ko it's so gulo ay, hindi ko pa sinayos sobrang pagod ako I landed this morning tapos tuloy tuloy na ako at nakatulog pa nga ako dun sa sa pila kanina tapos naawa sa yung mga starlights kasi natutulog ako sa ilalim ng araw tapos tulog na tulog talaga ako naawa sila ayan nagkasalibrate ako ng birthday ko ang handa ko ay noodles kasi sabi ko kakain sana ako sa labas kasi pagod na talaga ako hindi na kaya ng legs ko hindi din kaya ng feelings ko I bought cake. Yay! I'm gonna blow my cake later. Kasi this is my very first time na parang wala pa lang kakanta sa akin na happy birthday kasi I'm, I'm all alone in another country on my birthday. So, ako na lang kakanta. And yes, thank you Lord. Thank you my friends, my family. Thank you Leo. Ang saya-saya ng birthday ko dahil sa'yo. Thank you actually to those people who have sent me messages happy birthday nakakatuwa kasi parang sino ba naman ako para pag send niya ng message pero nakakaaliw ako oh, even someone wishes you happy birthday and say ate nakakaaliw ka thank you happy birthday sana ako din maging fan maging ganyang level ng fan girl in the future it, it kind of makes me happy so parang kahit pa parang hindi naman pala patapon yung buhay ko kahit pa parang may na-inspire ako ng ganung maliit na bagay but but eh, naman sana hindi lang maging fan girl lang din nila sa buhay nila i mean just a bigger thing to being a fan girl. Ayun. And I don't want to talk anymore. Baka maiyak na din ako. And I'm gonna internalize and look at the video that I've recorded. And blow my cake, eat my handang noodles for my birthday. And I don't know. I have nothing more to add to my uh, Leo Canvas concert whatever you call it if it's a vlog or just sharing so bye friends i'll probably share some more if i can because i'm not really good at this but yeah bye